51 minutes after 7 o'clock it is uh, the Big Breakfast Show, South Side FM 107.2. Now, we've been re- inundated with requests to get Revathy to dis- disclose uh, the right way or the prescribed guidelines, the prescribed guidelines mm-hmm. for conducting Varalachmi Vridham on Friday. That's correct. And without further ado, we're just going to wait for the for the beat to drop here. <laughs> right, so I'm going to stall it. Now, tell us very quickly, who is uh, Mahalakshmi? Mahalakshmi is the wife of our known Vishnu, uh, one of the three three Murtis, and um, she is the goddess that not, not only um, blesses you with um, wealth but prosperity. She is a Sumangali. Those that are wanting to to, to pray to her is is a Lakshmi. To, to be a Lakshmi, you don't need to be a married woman or married man to be a Lakshmi. Um, you need to even if a single person for that matter or an old person for that matter, you ask her to bless you because uh, you want to be prosperous in life, a good health everything. But I will now tell you more about it for Friday. Okay, the time to pray on the 5th of August 2022, which is Varilachmi Viridham. It's either during Brahma Muhurtham, which is 4am to 6am in the morning, or an auspicious time from 915 to 1015 in the morning, or lastly in the evening between 6.30 and 7.30pm. So those are the three auspicious times that you can pray. Now what do you do early in the morning during this Brahma Muhurtham time between 4am and 6am? Going outside and putting a rice flower column uh, at the doorstep of outside your door, as well as a flower on it, thereafter lighting incense, a good smell. Remember Lakshmi gets invited to your home with good scent, as well as She's not coming alone on a Friday to your home. She's coming with Sukra Bhagavan, who is the planet um, that pro- blesses you with prosperity, with wealth and good health. So she's coming with him and that also invites him. So smells like Sandanam, um, Manjal, those are the things that attract her. And that is why many people will light incense, put Sambrani in the morning as well. So once you have made your kolam and you have also um, lit your Sambrani, it's important to light two lamps on either side of of your door and because remember our Kuladevam irrespective of who your Kuladevam is is sitting at your doorstep so respecting your Kuladevam is important lighting two lamps at your door then entering your house thereafter with your house smelling of Sambrani you light your main lamp in your house and that is how you invite Lakshmi to your house now that you've invited her the first the next thing is to obviously offer her something to eat and usually they would make sweet rice and kadala and also payasam that is sweet Payasam that she likes. Thereafter, Kolkata, she likes that as anything that is rice related. Um, as well as, although she likes sweet stuff, people also make, and uh, you would see this in Thayar's temple in Tirupati as well, they make uh, Puliyodaram for her. Uh, puli sadam. That's also something that they make for her. So all those dishes that you can make, even if it's just fruit and milk that you can offer her, or just sweet milk. So boiling milk in the morning as well and adding a little bit of sugar and maybe a strand of saffron and boiling that and offering to her is accepted by her as well. So once you have done that and you've made the pre- preparations, at your lamp place, you would obviously offer this to her. But now one, when you do offer this to her, make sure that you are adding what you use in your kitchen. So a cup of water rice, a cup of salt, a cup of dal, uh, and a cup of sugar, as well as a cup of milk for that matter. Five cups of things that you want your home to always have, and that is what you pray to her and Annapurni on Friday for, that these must always be full. Your containers in your kitchen must always be filled with food to help others and your family and you. And praying to her with that, thereafter in the evening, you can take the same dal, the same rice and sugar, and add it back to your containers because she has now blessed it. And you will know that you will always have for that day. So that is what you would usually do. And lastly, very important, after you have prayed to her, after you have done that, after you have tied your strings during that auspicious time, it's important to do dhanam, which is anadhanam. So once you have done your prayers, to give someone food on that day is also a blessing that she would be very happy with as well. Remember that you pray to both herself and her husband, which is Perumal, and pray to them and asking them for good health, prosperity, wealth, 
and a prosperous life for you and your family is important. So those are the simple guidelines which I will repeat tomorrow morning in the Panjangam as well.